This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for creating your own website. Hi everyone, welcome to the vlog. Today we are doing some work again as always. What else do we ever do in these vlogs to be honest? You guys saw in my last video, I made this super good board book, which I feel like is the ultimate compliment to myself when I think it's good. But like, I really liked how this came out. So today we're gonna be making another one with the bunnies. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you guys know that I made these a while back. I made this last semester and it was like, all right. Like I mostly was just focusing on like the page just for this because obviously this uh, is awful. And then I ended up making this one with felt that I still really, really love. I found a new way to print things as you can tell and the pages look so good now with the color. So we're going to be doing the same thing with these bunny books, but that's gonna have to wait until later tonight because we got things to do. First thing we gotta do is go and eat. And I also have to finish another assignment before I actually get to this one because this is my independent study project so I basically do it whenever I have time. Currently, I don't have time. I'm a little stressed because I have to work on a poster for my silkscreen class. I don't have to print today, but I have to design it and that takes quite a while sometimes. So we're gonna have to do that. But yeah, I think we're gonna start the day with some Starbucks though because firstly, I haven't had Starbucks in a while. And secondly, I need to eat and I'm planning on just like permitting in this room for the day. You know, it's one of those days. Let's go ahead, get dressed, get ready for Starbucks and then we will reconvene here. Yes, that sounds like a plan. Let's do a mini fit check because it's been a while. I just got this jacket in. I love it. It's from a haul that I did that I will show you guys in like a few weeks. It's so cute. I like it. And then we got my little bag. So we're just gonna go and pick up Starbucks really quick and then come back here. So yeah, what is in my pocket? Oh, a quiz. I'm throwing this away. But yeah, we're gonna go get Starbucks really, really quickly and then we will come back here. I have arrived at Starbucks. Time to get my food. Okay, food acquired. Time to go back and do a lot of work. We're just gonna be, today's gonna be a working day. Woo, we have made it back. Very happy. Today's food is a chocolate almond milk espresso the one that looks like this i don't actually know my order super well i'm gonna attempt to mix it up like this because i always forget to get the little coffee stir things and then also we have a ham swiss croissant these are so good i used to eat the breakfast sandwiches every day and i not every day that's a bit of an overstatement but i do still eat them a lot but i got really sick of them so this is my new replacement and their croissants are like so fluffy and flaky and it's so good and now coffee time caffeine doesn't really work on me to be honest but I've been drinking coffee anyway because I like the taste. I get two pumps of simple syrup in mine so that it's like sweeter because I don't like when coffee tastes like coffee. <laughs> so yeah. This is simply the best combo of the summer. Cannot convince me otherwise. Yes, it's so good. But yeah, I have to do my silkscreen stuff right now. So I'm going to try to think of a design and draw it out on Procreate. This is a lot for my brain to do this early in the morning. Okay, that was a lot of work. But I finally figured out the design for my poster. So we're gonna start working on it now and we're gonna see how it goes. So here's my process. Uh, the beginning was something else because I had like so many different ideas for this, but I also had zero ideas for this project. But this poster, I ended up doing something about sustainable shopping for groceries, just like shopping locally and stuff. And I've been really inspired by like yuzu things lately. I don't know why yuzu is a plant. Um, it's like a fruit in Japan. And also capybaras love them. And they always like have little yuzu baths with them. I think it's because I have a yuzu bath in Animal Crossing. I think that's honestly why I've been like thinking about it. It's been in my brain, but yeah, here's my little process. It took me only like one or two hours to draw out, but I was literally scrolling on Pinterest trying to find any inspiration for this assignment for literally hours today. So later in the video, when you see me doing the bunny book and you're like, how did it get so late? Tiffany started filming so early. That's how. This literally took me forever to like conjure up in my brain, but once I got the ideas, I like got it figured out so yeah it was a lot it was a trip but here's what it ended up looking like also it's sideways i know it's sideways but like it just fits the frame better so i kept it sideways sorry yep this is how it came out and i'm actually pretty happy about it i thought this project was gonna suck but turned out okay Alrighty, so 
Poster's done. I think now we can start working on the bunny book, which is exciting because that's been what I've been like wanting to do all day. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started on the bunny. It's gonna be so cute because it's pink and it's just so pretty. And I honestly really liked how these designs came out. So I'm really glad I can like actually finish this project and make it look nice, if that makes sense. Um, Cause I feel like that's what was like lacking before. Yeah, we're gonna be able to do that. Yippee. But before we go any further with this video, I want to get a quick shout out to today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. Squarespace has been sponsoring my videos. I am so thankful because I've honestly been using their platform to make my own website for so long now. I've been chipping away at it in senior year. It is so important to put your portfolio online. And I also recommend this to just any artist online because Squarespace makes it so easy for you. And I could not imagine it to be even more harder than it already is because I am not good at making websites. But Squarespace makes it so easy for you. So you can also set up your online shop, which I'm super thankful for because that is something that I'm actually working on. And you can promote your other platforms. So as you can see, I have my own YouTube page and Squarespace just gives you all the flexibility that you need to make your own website, regardless of what it's for, even if it's not for your own YouTube or Instagram or anything like that. So check out Squarespace. I will have my code for you. You can use the code Tiffany Wang for your first purchase on a website or domain for a fraction of the cost. And let's get back into today's video. Today, we're going to be continuing the adventure adventures of the last video where I made these cute little whale shark board books. So if you guys didn't go see that, definitely go check it out because this has so many amazing pages in it and I love it. Um, but aside from that, I think I made a video on this a little while ago, this board book specifically, but I made this for my bunny doll house, which is a separate video. I made so many videos on all my projects, but this was the board book that I made and I still really like it to be honest. I think it's really cute and it has a little felt so that it's like really squishy and tactile for children, but I always wanted to make it into like professional looking board books. So that is what we are going to do today because I have these printouts, large printouts of baby bunnies. And I also already have made board books. As you can see, this was my first prototype and it turned out pretty good. So I'm going to try to make this it's a little board book and it's only like four pages but i actually reformatted it so now that's five and it just works better because the back page isn't like one of the literal pages in the book so yeah i am excited i still love this version though this version will forever be special but this one is not it but also just more importantly um the printout quality is just so much better now so that's also another reason why i have to remake these so let's just go ahead and get started i printed two so that i can have a prototype and then like a finished one let's attempt to make this first. So I showed a lot of this process on the last video. You guys can check that out where I made the whale sharks. Clearly, I'm just going to be doing the same thing. I'm cutting out my little papers and this was actually so satisfying. I just put on like an episode of Big Bang Theory and I just went at it. That is currently the show that I'm watching and I am so involved all of a sudden. I tried to watch it earlier like a few years ago and I couldn't get into it, but now I'm super into it. But anyway, we're gonna cut off the edges, but not all of the edges, just the top and bottom. And and we're going to crease the middle like we did with the last sheets and because this bunny book only has like five pages basically this was so much easier to do than the last one and i probably should have done this one first but i didn't we're gonna cut out the boards which are like almost squares but they're not i should have formatted them to be squares so it's like easier to cut out but for some reason i didn't and i'm still using a box cutter someone suggested in the last video that i get a rotary cutter which i will probably look into but as of right now for the first one that i did for a test we used the washi paper for the joiner on the inside i did not need to do this I will not continue to be doing this on the next book, but because it was only like five pages, this process went by really quickly, so it didn't affect me as much as when I did the whale sharks, but it still came out pretty good, so it's whatever. It just didn't make the spine super clean, but I basically made a skeleton of a book. We're going to put the washi on all of the creases, and then we're going to glue the pages on, and that's what's going to give it like the actual book pages, you know? But this went by so much faster than the last book. The last book, I had to like labor over and like babysit while I was drawing but like I already finished gluing the edges and so now we're just going to make sure that everything's good and we're going to attach the actual pages so I have my weird glue pattern I don't know what compels me with every time that I do the glue or why I'm using such a small
small brush for the glue like in hindsight i could be using a bigger brush i don't know why i'm doing that but we're just going to glue on the pages as you can see it's a really simple process i'm just going to put it on there and i feel like this is one of the most self-explanatory projects i've ever done on this channel because just like watching the video right now i can tell how it's made so hopefully if you guys are looking to like try to make one of these this is kind of explanatory but this video has never been meant to be a tutorial so if you're actually looking for advice i would not follow anything that i'm saying here this has just been my experience but i'm using this little scraper thing to scrape down the glue and that went okay but i kind of stopped doing it because i found it really unnecessary unless i put like absolutely way too much glue on there but yeah i just glued it down and it looks pretty good and i just trimmed the edges after i give it like a little bit of time for the glue on the edges to set but i trim it down pretty quickly so then i can go do the next spread and so that is one of the good things about having it done with washi paper in between before you like glue on your sheets and have a skeleton ready is that it's really easy to glue on the pages the downside is that the spine is very much not lined up and i don't like that so yeah there's pros and cons to doing it either way um if you're a beginner i'd probably recommend using washi paper but i've made enough of these at this point and also like after my first time making it, I was like, I do not want to be using washi paper. This is unnecessary. So it is what it is. Alrighty, update. So first one done. I tried like a spine cover thing, but like I kind of hate it. So I, I don't think I'll be doing it um, in the final one just because like it's unnecessary. But I wanted to try it because I've seen a couple of board books do this with how well that I lined up the spine for this one. I think I can get away with just doing it with an exposed spine, but this one, as you can see, the spine did not turn out as well. So I'm going to attempt to make it better, but I rounded the corners and this one I made with a really thick board. I think with this one, we're gonna make it with a thinner one just because the thick one was really hard to cut. And so I feel like when I rounded the corners, it really doesn't look as good. But overall, as you can see, I changed the order. So it says, oh, baby bunny hiding inside their new home, soft, sleepy. It used to just be good night on the back, but now we have good night and another end page. And then the back is just pink. So as you can see, like my cutting and everything is not as neat for this one as it could be. So we're gonna try to improve that. Now we're just gonna cut these out and this will be the official one. I'm pretty excited. We're just gonna go ahead and cut these out so that we can get to working on it. Woo! Also for the whale shark one, I pre-cut the boards and that made it a lot easier to round all the corners. And I think for this one, I want to try to round all four corners, which was something I was worried about doing for the whale shark book because it was so heavy. But I think since this will just be like four pages, five pages, and relatively large that I think I'm going to try to round all the corners. So we're gonna have a corner rounding tutorial because I didn't show you guys how to cut the board in the last video. Not that these videos are ever really tutorials, but I know some of you guys like to learn like how I did these things. So I will show you how I rounded them by hand just because um, there are corner rounders, like whole, they're basically like punches, but I don't like using them um, because this way I get more control of how round my corners are, I guess. But here are all the papers. Let's go ahead and uh, get into it, yeah. But yeah, now that I've done the first one, which was like my practice one, basically, I'm going to be doing the real one now. And I'm using a thinner board because like I said, the last board was way too hard to cut and I don't know why I'd use such a thick board. It does feel really good in the hand but it also feels almost unnecessary. I know a lot of younger baby books are actually made with like super thick board, but I don't know. I just thought like I'm gonna try it with a thinner one because I also just want it to be easier for myself because like yesterday I made like three board books and today I'm making two more so I'm kind of over it, but I'm gonna try to round all four corners for this one, which is not something that I've done before. And I was weary about doing it in the last video. You guys should really check out that last video if you want more details about my board book process. The last video, I did not want to use this method because of how heavy the book was because there were so many pages. But for this one, since there were only five, I figured any book is not gonna rip. It's probably gonna be this one. So I wanted to give it a shot because I know that aesthetically, this is probably gonna look the best. Hypothetically, I don't know how it's gonna go. So I did the same method for cutting the paper where I did the edges and I figured I'd trim around the corners once I glue it and then I will sand around those corners as well like I've been doing just because I think that makes the most sense. The sanding method has been working well for me where 
where basically I glue on pages, I trim around the border, and then I sand the paper and the board together at the same time to kind of fuse them together. And so, yep, we're just creasing the pages in the middle like we've been doing, and there's only five of them. So again, this method goes by so quickly, and I'm so thankful because I'm so glad I did the difficult one first in the last video, and then I did this one because I would not have been able to handle doing more. But we're going to laminate the covers because I really liked how that came out on the last book as well. So we're just doing the front and the back covers, and this back cover was actually an afterthought. I did not plan it, obviously, that's why it was just like a sheet of pink paper. Um, but I think it came out pretty well, surprisingly. As you can probably tell, it is getting to be gloomy outside, so today's a very cozy day in making these bunnies. But to where did my boards go? So we're gonna try with the four rounded corners. I have no idea how this is gonna go. I hope it goes well. I feel like it'll be okay. But today we are gonna start with the first one, just because there's only so many. Um, so let's just go ahead and make sure the orientation is correct on these. Okay, I'm a little frightened, but that's okay. So we're gonna start with the glue. I just don't know how these inner corners are gonna go. I guess it could go okay. We're just gonna apply the, this one's gonna go by so fast. I mean, even the, even the prototype went by super fast just because there wasn't much to it. Like it literally is like five pieces of board. So, so quick with these. Alrighty, so we're gonna apply the first board and I'm just gonna do it like this. Try to match up the edges. It's the most important to me right now. All right, edges are matched. So now we're just gonna clamp it with my beautiful clips. We're just gonna get the four corners. It's very important that the corners get glued, especially now that we have this added. And so here's how all of the different bunny books ended up. As you can see, the first one, the print quality really just is not cutting it compared to the new ones. But we started off with this one, which is not that good. And then we had this one, which was a pretty close replacement for a board book, but not quite what I wanted it to be. We try to do this one. I mean, I don't have many complaints about it. In terms of it being a board book, it came out really nicely, but I really did not love this little end thing that I did, but like it was worth a shot, I guess. And then for the last one, I think this one came out pretty well, especially with the rounded corners. And overall, this was probably the best constructed one, even though as you can see, there are still some areas that I could improve on. I think it came out okay. So I'm sorry about the bad lighting. I did end up finishing this kind of late at night, but you can see here it all is. Good night, sleepy bunnies. And now I have so many copies of them. So yeah, this was really fun. So thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out with me. And let me know what you think of all these baby bunny books in the comments. And so that is the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you guys liked how this bunny book came out because I feel like it is a very big improvement from this one and this one especially this one but even just like the print quality i think is so much better maybe i'll try to remake it with this little felt one again with the better print quality i don't know let me know if i should do that in the comments down below but i will see you guys in the next video so stay hydrated take a nap and i will see you when i see you bye also before we go if you're in the providence area i will be selling my artwork this coming saturday so if you guys want to check me out follow my instagram for more details in the story and i hope to see you guys there bye